And quick update on the aquarium garden. This is looking pretty cool. Even though to most people it looks a little rough. I mean, we did have a hurricane. Lots of things came in, blew over things. But I love this because I get to see how nature really works with certain things. Like even these empty tanks with how the plants are going to grow in. Looking like a terrarium. So the ones that are growing good in sealed where it's got moisture in. See, this one's not really got all that all that dew and moisture like this one. So I may just leave this like this and just see what happens. Same with that one. But I do got a plan. But I do got a plan to like upgrade all this here in the future, which is gonna look really cool. But this is just temporary for now. Now into the aquariums. We've got these gold dust mollies here. Which they've had a couple babies, young, you can see. There is some Anubias growing in there. I don't know if that leaf is new or if it's been growing in there. It's got to be new. Yeah, there's a lot of fresh looking leaves in there. Oh no, I think it looks cool. I just love watching them at the top too. And the red rice fish, they've been getting bigger. Glad to still see them around. When I first put this out here, all the algae was sitting floating at top, but it's kind of settled now that it's rained and stuff. I still haven't put anything into these other two just because I wanted to see how things would do out here. So these are still empty. And then here had those live bears from Mexico. Oh, we do get to see them. They've been breeding like crazy. Or, well, yeah, there's more young. So they've been breeding well. Really neat. And you can see, but you can see they got plenty of cover here. So they don't have to worry about predation. Well, what would be cool is if one of these trees started growing out. I did try to do a test with this one, but because it fell during the hurricane, so I plunked it in there, but I didn't keep the root wet enough. Who knows, though? I, I mean, I think it's still touching. Nah, I don't think it's going to do anything. And then next to them was supposed to be some purple Moscow guppies. I know this has got to be some soft acidic water because it's got that Spanish moss that falls off into the this stuff that falls off from the trees all up in it. And that will make it really, really acidic. I'll start giving it tannins too with the leaves and the sticks. But these were supposed to be purple Moscow guppies, but they... Definitely looks like they got a lot more different colors going on. Next to them in this 75. Oh, it's hard to see with all the reflection. It's a huge, huge jungle of Val. Be some pandagaras and black rice fish in here. Go ahead and let's just remove some of this. There you can see up underneath. It's all really nice about this area. I'll just run my fingers up and through. see what happens oh, now we can kind of see in there that's all cleared up did you see the rochi rice fish 
black Medeca as I have seen four at once, at least. So good to know that they're still in here. Oh man, you can really see on the side now all the balancing area. This reminds me of my outdoor heated pond that I had at the old house, the big one. Definitely aren't all purple Moscow's. A lot of wasps come here to get drinks. That one's real thirsty. There you have it. Quick update on the outdoor Thanks. Don't forget to mind your weather out there. It's going to be getting cold in some places, but hit the like button if you didn't already. See you next time.